Viv here again. It's sorry it's taken such a long time to put the next video up. We're gonna have a quick look at my workshop again because I've been cleaning up. It, everything looks a lot neater and a lot tidier. I'll run around real quick. Um, then we're gonna have a look at two things that I'm currently working on. One is my fantasy battle and my 40k armies. And the second is two pieces of terrain that I need to finish off. Then we'll have a chat about what I'm gonna work on next. Um, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I've moved my main table into the center of the room here. On the left hand side is my workbench that was full of boxes and stuff before. All that stuff's been sorted out into these new containers that I bought. So the workbench is uh, a little bit cleaner. Same shelf in the background over there, the 8x4 table. Again, a few more boxes underneath just for keeping things a little bit neat and tidy. And then panning a bit further over, I've got a new rack over there which I've uh, put all my bits and pieces onto. And the table, which we'll jump over into a minute, that's got my uh, minis on it. Panning further over to the right, that's my brother Andrew. <laughs> and in the, the background there, a couple more shelves, and those two tables are four foot by four foot tables um, for, uh, for working on and for playing games on. So that's the workshop, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more space, things are a little bit more organised. Um, it's uh, certainly a, a pleasure now to be out here and uh, hopefully start getting on with some work. So let's have a look at that work. Okay, so these are two of the fantasy barrel buildings I've been working on. I showed this one last time. This just needs to be uh, reprimed and uh, I can start painting it and then do the base. All of this has been built out of um, cardboard and uh, balsa wood sides and strips of uh, cardboard cut into little tiles and glued onto the top here. I mean, it's relatively strong. I mean, this thing would hold a house brick on top of it. I might get one out and show you a little bit later on. It's pretty strong and it's just built out of cardboard. Thin card at that. Um, so I'll have to fix that door at the top or rebuild the balcony that I had out here. Um, but that's one piece of scenery that I'm going to work on and, 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 and make a video about that as I finish. I'll also do this one at the same time. Same sort of technique on the top. This one's got a couple of chimneys. It's got a second story with a couple of windows at the top here. I'll put some detail in here. Put some detail in these three windows. I'm going to put some, um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, forget the effect that they put in here. Anyway, it's beside the point. Down the bottom here, I think this needs a door. It doesn't have one on it at this stage. But I'll put a door in and then I'm going to put some rock effect down the bottom here. So this will be a, a part stone, part wooden building. Um, and again, texture up the base and flock it, etc. So those two bits of scenery, I'll make some videos about as I do them, and then I'll show you how to build them from scratch. Okay, so moving over to the minis table over here. I've got here my uh, uh, Imperial Fist Army, which is sort of slowly, slowly coming together. It's been hanging around for a while, and I've only just started doing some work on them, but uh, Command Squad, Tactical squad, tactical squad, there's two more tactical squads over here. Um, I've got enough minis to make two devastator squads. Oh, there's a fifth tactical squad. My um, predator, which is, I'm just magnetizing the sponsoring weapons. Oh, I think the turret might be sitting on the wrong tank here because I glued these doors on accidentally. A um, couple of land speeders, four dreadnoughts hanging around the place. My land raider. A bunch of other tanks that'll proxy as rhinos or whirlwinds or whatever they need to. Little squad of five uh, scouts at the top there. There is another group of scouts around the place, all with sniper rifles. Don't know where they are. My ten-man uh, Terminator squad. The ten-man assault squad. And then some of the new plastic Devastator models that still need to be undercoated and base coated. But that's the base coat at the moment. I'm going for a sort of a dark coloured yellow. It will be highlighted up to a bit more brighter colour. And then the two fantasy battle armies. Excuse the sun there in the background coming through the, the shade there. The shade cover. But these is my... Uh, Shall we do the empire over here since that's what's facing us? These guys again have been hanging around for a while. I'm not the hugest fan of painting minis. But I do need to do it, so I will get into that. And then we'll jump around the other side of the table and have a look at the vampire counts. I've got another 2,000 points coming from Maelstrom Games at the moment. 
they're a hell of a lot cheaper than buying stuff here in Australia even though they're in the UK you get free shipping on anything that's over 10 pounds which is pretty much everything so the corpse cart these are some old skeleton horsemen's proxying as uh, black knights um, my unit of uh, Mm, what are they called? Grave Guard. There's 10 more of those coming, so there'll be 20 of those. The Ghouls. There's 10 more of those I've got, so there'll be 20 of those. Some Reaper Minis. Proxying as my Vampires. My converted Army Standard Bearer. In the background, my unit of Zombies. And then two 30 blocks of Skeletons. And the Blood Knights. And there's a few more things coming from Maelstrom. So those things are, uh, you'll see me paint, or some of them at least anyway. They're my Fantasy Battle Army, my 40k Army. I've got a Tyranids Army coming as well, 3,500 points of Tyranids. I have a tendency to buy a lot of stuff and never finish it, but that'll change. Then we'll get on with these bits of scenery, and um, yeah, I look forward to it. Okay, so that's a real quick look around the, uh, the workshop at the moment. The two uh, pieces of scenery that I'm going to finish off and the uh, have the minis over there so um, stay tuned guys for me uh, fixing up and finishing off these buildings then um, I'll put uh, I'll put something else up after that maybe I've got a few more buildings on the shelf over there to finish off uh, maybe I'll do a battle board or something like that so um, if you've got something you want to see me do then let me know and I uh, I'll do it but in the meantime guys thanks for watching um, enjoy your, uh, enjoy your hobby and, um, I'll catch you later on. Take care. See ya.